You're Alpha and Omega. We worship you, our God, for you are worthy to be praised. Oh, you are Alpha and you are Omega. We worship you, our King, for you are worthy to be praised. And we give you all the glory. We worship you, our God, for you are worthy to be praised. And we give you all of the glory. We worship you, our God, and you are worthy to be praised. Awesome God, brave you are. You are God, mighty are your miracles. We stand in awe of your holy name. Lord, we bow and worship you. Awesome God, a great hour. You are God, you are mighty, and your miracles we stand in awe of your holy name. Lord, we bow and worship you, Father. We bless your name, we give you glory, we give you praise, we give you honor, we give you all the glory. You are awesome, you are kind, you are wonderful. Thank you, Jesus, for you for being you in our lives. Thank you for being faithful, for being kind, for upholding us and strengthening us. Hallowed be your name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Let's just open our mouth and bless the name of the Lord. Honor him for there is no one like him. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for a beautiful day in your presence. Thank you for we are living. Thank you for bread, for oxygen. Thank you, Lord, for your peace that we enjoy on all sides. Thank you for your fighting our battles. Thank you for there are diverse miracles ahead of us. Be thou exalted, be thou glorified. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Jesus' name. Good morning, family. How you doing? How was your weekend? How was service yesterday? Just to went to church. How are you? How is everyone? Um, yeah, in advance, I'm wishing you a beautiful week, a fulfilling week, a fulfilled week, a glorious week in the presence of your Father in heaven in the name of Jesus. Amen. Good morning. So let's go. Our topic for today says the Holy Ghost baptism and power part two. Uh, the Holy Ghost baptism and power part two. Our memory verse is taken from the book of 2 Timothy 1 verse 7. 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 7. And it says, For God had not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. We'll be reading Acts 4 verse 1 to 13. And as they speak unto the people, the priests and the captain of the temple and the Sadducees came upon them, being grieved that they taught the people and preached through Jesus the resurrection from the dead. 3. And they laid hands on them and put them in hold unto the next day, for it was now not even to it. Albert, many of them which heard the word believed, and the number of the men was about 5,000. And it came to pass on the morrow that their rulers and elders and scribes, six and Anna as the high priest, and Cyphers and John and Alexander, and as many as were of the kindred of the high priest were gathered together at Jerusalem. And when they had set them in the midst of them, they said, By what power or by what name have you done this? Then Peter, filled with the Holy Ghost, said unto them, You rulers of the people and elders of Israel, if we this day be exalted, of the good deed done to the impotent man by what means he is made all be it known unto you all and to all all the people of Israel that by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom ye crucified, whom God raised from the dead, even by him doth this man stand here before you all. This is the stone which was set at north of you builders, which is become the head of the corner. Verse 12 says, Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men, whereby we must be saved. Now when they saw the boldness of Peter and John, and perceived that they were on land and ignorant men, they marveled and they took knowledge of them that they had been with Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, our memory verse was talking about God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. 
And then the, our Bible reading is talking about when John and Peter were taken into um, the prison because they cast out the demon out of the impotent man and then they were given the gift of the Holy Spirit. They were impacting the gift of the Holy Spirit on the multitudes. And you know, the scribes and the Pharisees and the rulers, all of them, they got angry and they seized them and put them into prison. Then the next day they came and started asking them, who gives you this authority? By whose name are you doing all this? And you know, even despite the fact that they were casting, they were they were held bound or put in prison. They, they, Peter and John could still talk boldly because the spirit of the living God was in them. The Holy Spirit was upon them. Praise the name of the Lord. That is the power of the Holy Ghost. That is the power of the Holy Spirit. Praise the name of the Lord. In the Bible reading for today, you know, Peter confronted the Sadducees, defending his faith and the name of Jesus Christ. However, it was. Peter, this boat before he was baptized in the Holy Spirit, the simple answer is no. Yes, I could remember because right when Jesus was still on earth, when Peter was going to deny Jesus, Jesus said, you're going to deny me. Peter said, no, no way, it's not going to happen. And then we saw a few verses down the line. Peter was accosted by um, even the maid, you know, those who put Jesus in prison. They said, we would we see you, we see your face, you were with this man, and Peter denied boldly three times, and then a few chapters after, Peter is here talking boldly because he was imparted by the Spirit of the Lord, by the Holy Spirit. Now, in Matthew 14, 28 to 32, Peter was described as being afraid. After they saw the boisterous of the wind in John 18, 16 to 27, when servants recognized him as one of Jesus' followers, he denied it and swore that he did not know Jesus. This same Peter was now the one confronting Sadducees. In Acts 4, verse 10, the one who denied Jesus said, The same Jesus who crucified, God has raised him from the dead, and it is true him that this lame man is standing before you all. He added that there is no other name given unto men by which anybody can be saved but by Jesus. Now Peter was standing, was standing solid behind Jesus Christ. The Peter after Pentecost was the different from the Peter before Pentecost. He was now bold and could speak about Jesus Christ to anyone regardless of their status in the society. Now Acts 4 verse 13 says that the boldness of Peter and John was beheld by the people around them. In other words, their boldness became very obvious. What was responsible for this boldness? The answer to this question is found in Acts 4 verse 8. Then Peter filled with the Holy Ghost said unto them, Ye rulers of the people and elders of Israel, because the Holy Spirit had ministered unto him, the Holy Spirit had entered him. He had been baptized by the Holy Spirit. He was now bold and could talk. He could talk boldly. Now, being filled with the Holy Ghost is the antidote for fear. If fear has been holding you back from fulfilling your destiny, it is because you are not yet filled with the Holy Ghost. When you become filled with the Holy Ghost, you will look at the biggest obstacle in front of you and smile because you know that greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Now, if you are battling with the spirit of fear, I personally can can attest to this that you should get baptized with the Holy Spirit, get baptized with the Holy Ghost. You know, when you wake up, speak in the Holy Ghost, when you are enjoying the your day, speak in the Holy Ghost in the night, speak in the Holy Ghost, speak in the Holy Ghost, speak as often as you can, speak as often as you can. If you want to combat fear, if you want to, if you are thinking of I'm backing on a project and fear is holding you back. Start speaking in the Holy Ghost. Get baptized in the Holy Ghost and speak in the Holy Ghost. Praise the name of the Lord. Whenever fear tries to creep into your heart, start speaking in the Holy Ghost. Speak in tongues to the point where you ascend above the level of that fear. The Holy Spirit gives you the boldness to surmount any obstacle that may be standing in your path, no matter how big. It may appear. Pray in the Holy Ghost every day. Study your Bible and have the Holy Ghost lead you. Make the Holy Ghost your companion at all times. And fear will become a stranger to you. <laughs> wow. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. This is, I, I tell you, this is the old truth. This is the real truth. Once you are battling the spirit of fear, speak in the Holy Ghost. Speak in the Holy Ghost. Speak in the Holy Ghost. Ascend. Keep going higher. Keep going higher. Keep going higher. Till you are above that fear. And when if it comes again, start again. Speak in the Holy Ghost. Speak in the Holy Ghost concerning any situation, concerning anything you might be facing, any distraction, any fear creeping your heart, anything holding you back for fulfilling the destiny that God has set ahead of you. Speak in the Holy Ghost. If you have not yet received the gift of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus, I decree in Jesus' name that you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. You 
know all that it requires for you to receive the gift of the Holy Spirit is that you'll be born again. Once you are born again, you have access to the Holy Ghost. Once you are born again, once you are a believer, once you've given your life to Christ, you have access to the gift of the Holy Spirit. You have access to the Holy Ghost. So if you are not yet born again, then you need to be born again. Of course, you know you need to be born again. If you are not yet born again, you need to say this prayer along with me and say, Lord Jesus, I am grateful for your love for your message for your kindness towards me thank you for saving me thank you for dying on the cross for me i ask i ask that you forgive all my sins in the name of jesus use your precious blood of jesus to wash my sins away i confess my sins before you and i say that you make me clean wash me and wash me with your eyes up and make me clean in the name of jesus holy spirit i pray that you lord will Bring me into your presence in the name of Jesus. Jesus, bring me into your presence. Help me to walk by you daily. Help me to walk in your ordinances. Help me to walk in your step. Help me not to fail. Help me not to go back. Help me not to backslide in Jesus' name. Even as I'm giving my life to you, please help me to walk constantly in your love for my life in Jesus' name. I shall not fall. I shall not go back. I shall not backslide. Your presence will continually be with me. Help me to walk in your ways in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, for answered prayers. In Jesus' name we pray amen now if you've said that prayer i am telling you congratulations because that is the best decision you can ever make ever that is the truth it surpasses every other decision you will ever make this is the best that you ever make and it stands like that you for life so i'm saying congratulations to you thank you for saying yes to jesus because you're about to live your best life yet in the name of jesus now if you've just received if you've just received jesus as your lord and savior i'll implore you to please find a bible believing church and start attending get a bible read your bible study your bible and you know pray every day you could drop a comment in the a, a comment in the comment section about what you would like us to pray with you or whatever help way you would like to be helped god will Perfect everything that concerns you in Jesus' name. Now, if you've said that and you also want to receive the gift of the Holy Spirit, all you I need is your belief. All I need is your faith. All I need is your belief and uh, your faith that you you will receive just as you desire in the name of Jesus. That you will receive just as you desire. That the Holy Spirit will come upon you. So I need you to pray in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord God Almighty, we thank you. We glorify your name. We give you all the praise for as many people as are listening right now. And that we're still listening to it, we say, Be exalted in Jesus. Then we ask for mercy and always we read. Please forgive us, oh Lord God. We pray for the infilling of your spirit. For the Bible says that you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit is come upon you. Lord, we desire your power. So we ask that your Holy Spirit will dwell upon us in the name of Jesus. We pray for the infilling of the Holy Spirit for as many as we, 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 we want to receive or as many as desire to receive all over the world. We decree in the name of Jesus. I pray. In Jesus' name, that the Holy Spirit come upon you in the name of Jesus. You are filled with the Spirit of the Living God. Now open your mouth and begin to speak as the Spirit directs you. Don't bother controlling yourself. The Spirit will direct you. I decree in the name of Jesus that you are di- that you are led of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. That you are impacted by the Holy Spirit, you're impacted by the Holy Ghost, such that no fear will be able to keep you grounded again in the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus. So if you said that prayer, I say congratulations to you. Congratulations. Congratulations to you once again. Just know that the Holy Spirit is right here present in you anytime you are praying, even if you are praying in your room, just pray, Holy Spirit, speak through me, speak through me, and begin to pray in the name of Jesus. I know that the Lord will come true for you in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen in Jesus' name. So, just as we've read, if you want fear to completely be a stranger to you, then make the Holy Ghost your best companion. Make the Holy Ghost your best companion at all times in the name of Jesus. Our reflection for today says, are you constantly filled with the Holy Ghost? Are you constantly filled with the Holy Ghost? It's actually important that we are filled with the Holy Ghost. This is when I skip, this is when I don't pray in the Holy Ghost. I find out that I'm struggling. You know, if you are dealing with anxiety, the Holy Ghost is your antidote. If you are dealing with fear, the Holy Ghost is your antidote. If you are dealing with worry, the Holy Ghost is your antidote. Do that. Just pray in the Holy Ghost, pray in the Holy Ghost at every point in time. If fear has been crippling your life, pray in the Holy Ghost and you see breakthrough in the name of Jesus. Amen. Pray for you that you receive total victory in all spheres of life and whatsoever is holding you back from fulfilling your dreams, whatsoever is holding you back from reaching for your goals, whatsoever is distorting your path in the name of Jesus. I pray that they are destroyed in Jesus' name. I pray that even as you engage the Spirit of the Living God, as you pray in the Holy Ghost, the ways will begin to pay for you. 
in Jesus' name. Amen. Our theme for today is as the city in twenty. Stand up, stand up for Jesus. Stand up, stand up for Jesus. Ye soldiers of the cross, lift his warrior banner. It was not so for loss. From victory unto victory, his army shall he lead till every foe is vanquished and Christ is Lord indeed. Stand up, stand up for Jesus. The strife will not be long. This day the noise of battle, the next the victor's song. To him that overcome it, a crown of life shall be. He with the king of glory shall reign eternally. Praise the name of the Lord. Good morning once again, family. I'm wishing you a beautiful day in the name of Jesus. I'm wishing you a prosperous day. I'm wishing you open doors, open greatness in the name of Jesus. Breakthrough, breakfast in Jesus. May mount up and build capacity in the name of the Lord. May now this your strength. Please have a wonderful day. God bless you. I love you, but Jesus loves you most. See you tomorrow by God's grace. Bye.